to show you guys. I wanted to own my time, as a lot of people out there, I'm pretty sure want to do the same. I wanted to do something one time and get paid for it for the rest of my life. What's up, House Money? It's your main man, Lakeith Fowler, right here in a place to be. Welcome to another episode of House Money with me, your host, Lakeith Fowler. Today, I'm talking about similarities between building a new home and building your dreams, building goals. So goals and new construction is what this episode is about. So to get straight into it, I like to start off with the definition. What is a goal? A goal is the object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or desired result. So my aim and my desired result was to build a successful life. That was my goal. I wanted to own my time. As a lot of people out there, I'm pretty sure want to do the same. I wanted to do something one time and get paid for it for the rest of my life. Like I'm not lazy but I, I really believe in, in trying to beat myself, trying to outsmart myself, trying to work a lot smarter. Now, I wasn't always in real estate, so I didn't just start with this goal list, but after getting into it and kind of going through life and getting a little further down the road, I kind of felt like, you know, you can't, you can't just do something without having a, a plan, a goal. And it, it sounds corny, but a lot of people do it. A lot of people don't realize it that they've bought somebody else's life and they're not really building and designing their own life. So I feel like in order to do that, you kind of got to know what it is that you're going for. You got to know what the goal is. So that's really how I'm trying to correlate the two. So check me out. So to build a house, you got to first purchase a lot. For me to think to myself, okay, I want a successful life, Lakeith. So, uh, a lot of people may not know this, but for high school, I didn't go to a regular liberal arts high school where they had sports. It was strictly academic. So I went to the school of business, business and management center. Uh, my freshman year, it was downtown. Then my sophomore year, it moved off A Street, Townview. So I graduated from the school of business all because I wanted to be in business. I knew this very early in my life about six, seven years old. I know where I was, the time of day. I wanted to be in business. I just didn't know what kind of business. But I also hadn't been learned on how to create certain goals, like how to get clear cut specific goals. And that's something that I want to give to everybody watching because you may have similar goals and I might shorten the learning curve for you. So why clear goals? Again, it saves a lot of time. It is a lot easier for me to get the lot by the survey, what house I'm gonna put on there. Three bedroom, two bad, one car garage, 50 feet wide on, on the width of the home, so on and so forth. It's just, it's just easy, it's, 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 a, it's a pattern. So that pattern is set and all I have to do is follow it. So it makes it a lot easier. So it's the same thing with goals in your life follow the pattern of the architect of the home. You, Cause you are the architect of your life and nobody else can really do it for you. So you got to think about that. Well, if a house looks like this and it's shaped like this and I want my life to be like this and I want things to go like this, not to say things will always be perfect, but how many people have actually written it down on a piece of paper and said, this is the way that I think this should go and actually follow it. Cause that's what I do when I build a new home. I don't come up with the designs on the fly. I come up, I, I, maybe the paint colors and, and the colors of the floors and the granite countertops, but for the structure of the home, for the structure of your life, you gotta have a clear goal. You gotta have it written out. It just makes it a whole lot easier. So on and so forth from the foundation to the framing, that's just on the house for anything. So I came up with something and I like to share it with you. Check this out. It's called SMART. Specific, whatever the goal is, always specific, measurable. How much is it going to take? What is it, what is it going to incur? How much of myself will I have to change in order to become what it is that I need to be in order to do what it is that I'm trying to do? 
Achievable. Is this achievable? Does this make sense? You can't set a goal that's so far out of range to the point to where you don't even try for it. Is it rewarding? Absolutely. Building a, a house, building a successful life, building something that you always wanted to be is very rewarding. Time specific. Give yourself an amount of time. I like to have this done in the next five, 10, 15 years, three months, six months, a year, two years, three years. Smart, specific, measurable, achievable, rewarding, time specific. It's very, very crucial that you have goals because without them, it makes it kind of difficult to get what it is that you want. If I have my goals written out in a plan, just like building a house, and I follow that plan, just like building a house, then I too can build something successful for myself and my life. And if I choose to take advantage of all the monetary benefits from it, as far as like passive income, flipping it, equity, uh, refinancing, so on and so forth, it's available for you to do it, but you can't do it without a goal in place. You can't just say you're going to do something and then think it's just going to happen. You got to take the right steps. So I look at it just like taking steps and building a house. I look at what's the goal and building a successful life. And that's just my interpretation, something I wanted to share with you guys. My name is Lakeith Fowler. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Follow me on all social media platforms. And Lakeith buys houses and land. Thank you.